What's up everybody, it's Brian Earhart with Team Discraft here and today I'm going to be talking about two different types of practice you can incorporate into your routines and break through that next skill plateau to take your game to the next level. Practice methods can generally be broken down into two main categories, block practice and random practice. The more common of the two is block practice, which is very repetition based. It can be used successfully in making form changes and cementing good muscle memory. The other type of practice, which I feel is pretty underutilized in disc golf, is random practice, which keeps the body guessing and forces the body to stay intuitive and execute in the moment like you would during a tournament round. Block practice can be described as practicing to learn, whereas random practice can be described as practicing to perform. The emphasis in block practice needs to be making sure the disc looks a certain way coming out of your hand. You can make 20 putts from 15 feet, but it doesn't necessarily mean they were all the same and you were building that muscle memory. The one thing about block practice, if you use it exclusively, is that every single throw after your first one is an adjustment of the last. There needs to be an emphasis on making sure your putts and your throws in block practice are the exact same. A good example of block practice on the putting green is simply taking 10 putts from the exact same spot. The goal here is not to just put the discs in the basket, but to put them in the basket the exact same way. If you can throw 10 putts that look identical to each other, that's effective block practice. A good example of using block practice in the field to build driving skills is to put a cone at a comfortable distance and throw the same mold on the same hyzer line over and over again. Through this, you're building your stroke and you're building that muscle memory that you'll be able to take with you onto the course. Once you've begun to build that consistency and muscle memory with block practice, random practice can be used as a complement to build the intuitiveness needed to switch back and forth from different tempos, different molds, and different shot shapes while you're out there on the course. With random practice on the putting green, all you simply have to do is change your spot that you putt from every single time. This forces you to stay intuitive and make a game time decision with each putt rather than adjusting to your last. A good example of random practice in the field for building driving ability is the three cone tempo drill and the par four drill that I've discussed in previous Fieldwork Fundamental videos. The whole point of random practice is to put yourself in a game time situation where you're forced to make an adjustment every single throw that you make. As most of you know, during a competitive round of disc golf, there are no redos. So random practice is really good for forcing you to stay intuitive and adjust to every single lie that you have. So the next time you go out to the field to practice, try using both of these methods alongside of each other to break things up a bit, and I guarantee you'll start to see some improvements in your game.